Well, remember I talked about how they, they were trading with the Venetians? Uh, well, they influenced the Venetians quite a bit uh, in terms of their architecture. Next slide. And they also introduced something that is very familiar to us, uh, Gothic architecture. Again, you might say to yourself, what is this guy talking about? Gothic architecture is classically Christian, classically medieval. How could it be that it is, it is an Islamic legacy? Well, I'm going to give you my theory. Uh, this is the Church of Saint Denis. Uh, it's uh, north of Paris. Generally considered to be or acknowledged to be the world's first fully executed Gothic church. Um, erected, next slide please, uh, under the supervision of this guy, Abbot Sujay, uh, who lived in the uh, 1100s. Um, and the you know, conventional wisdom is that he envisioned this place, a church, next slide, where you have these tall, elongated uh, walls with lots of light uh, coming through. Um, next slide. And the, and the idea, of course, was to inspire you with, uh, with visions of really, you know, it, it would be, uh, you know, light would stream in through these colored glass windows. It would be kind of a divine experience. You'd be dwarfed by it as you can see the little fellow there being contemplative and worshipful. Uh, and, um, what, next slide. Shuje was inspired by a, a visit to um, a place called uh, Kuni. Um, he began, he went there in uh, 1135. Next slide. This is Cluny in, in France. Uh, of course, this is what it may have looked like because it's not there anymore. Uh, didn't last past the French Revolution. Next slide. But you can see what may have inspired it was this architecture here. Of course, this is a graphic, computer graphic image. Um, next slide. Now, uh, we know that Five years before work began on this church, Cluny, uh, its abbot went to Sicily. Next slide. To this place, the Abbey of Monte Cassino. Um, again, which this is a this is a newer version. The older one got bombed out in World War II. Next slide. Uh, but this is just to show you the, the place. Um, at Monte Cassino. Point of Arch was supposed to have made its first appearance in, in the West. And at Monte Cassino, there was a scholar there by the name of Constantine. Uh, he came, next slide, from across the sea from Carthage, modern Tunis, Tunisia. Next slide. And the next one. And I want you to pay attention to these arches here. And just kind of remember those. Next slide. Um, now he uh, went to he, he went to Monte Cassino and spent most most of the, the latter part of his life there. Um, now think about this. If you can think about the geography of, of what I'm talking about here. Go to the next slide. This is. A, a church, uh, excuse me, a mosque in Tunisia, where he came from, where Constantine came from, uh, called the Ahmadiyya uh, Mosque, and it was built in the 10th century. Go to the next slide. Now, a century before that, uh, oh, excuse me, uh, go to the next one. A century before that, in Cairo, there was a mosque built called the Ibn Tulu Mosque. Next slide. I'll give you a few shots of that. Take a look at these arches, okay? This is hundreds of years before these Gothic cathedrals were built in, in Europe. Next slide. And this is in uh, Tulum. And the next one. So look at this arch. Go to the next one. Now, uh, 
about 100 years before that, in Jerusalem, uh, was built the Al-Aqsa Mosque. And again, look at the arches. Next slide. And the next one. Um, and uh, again, 100 years before that, going further east, you end up in Damascus, next slide, at what is called the uh, Mayad Mosque or the Grand Mosque. Um, again, look at the, 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 the row up top and the row below. Go to the next slide. Uh, you can see how this clearly influenced, I, I clearly influenced the churches of medieval Europe. Um, uh, if you really want to go really way back, go to the next slide. And actually the next one. Uh, you can see a pointed arch here in Tessafon, which is in, uh, what's about 15 miles south of Baghdad. Um, this goes back actually to the third century you see. It's the largest single span of arch in, in the world. Um, go to the next slide. Uh, again, take a look at some comparisons here. This is a, the, the one on the left here is a mosque uh, from a mosque in Cairo, and on the right from Oxford in England, hundreds of years apart. Next, next slide. And again, you can see um, Arabic architecture up top. Hundreds of years later, you see it in Europe. The next one. Remember this, remember I told you, remember those arches in Tunisia? Well, these are arches in the church in uh, 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 the great, what was called the Great Mosque in Cordoba in Spain. Next, next slide. There they are again. Go to the next one. So you, can, you can see this architectural language's influence. It just clearly went, moved geographically right across, uh, you know, from the Middle East to Northern Europe, up into Europe. Again, next slide. And you can just go through the next few. These are all in the Great Mosque in, uh, in Cordoba. Yeah, see that? What it's called trifolium architecture, those little cusp things. Keep going. And again, next one. Uh, stop there for a sec. This uh, is the tower at the Great Mosque in Cordoba, um, the bell tower. Keep going. And again, you can see the, the, the minaret. The minaret is the tower from which they, you know, they call the Muslims to prayer. Um, uh, they share great similarities with, with church steeples and influence church steeples. Keep going, next one. And here, back in Venice at St. Mark's, uh, next one. You can see this window tracery here. Next slide. Was clearly influenced by window tracery, I believe, at the Great Mosque in uh, Damascus. Next one. You can see the, the clear uh, similarities. Next slide. So uh, from Venice, and then next one. You can see you can see an awful lot of clear influence. Next one. And again. And sadly, uh, you'll notice that here at the World Trade Center, which of course is no longer here, uh, clear Islamic origins. Next one. Um, next slide. Just a few more examples of, of uh, uh, some large green interiors. Uh, this is at the uh, Hombra in Spain. Keep going. Next slide. Next one. Uh, great lovers of tile work and intricate uh, uh, interiors. Next slide. 